This problem, we're going to do a Laplace transform of 4x. So before we did Laplace transform of just 4, now it's 4x, and this one's going to be quite a bit more tricky, even though it doesn't look bad at first. So I'm using the definition, 0 to infinity, e to the negative, sx. Now our f of x is now 4x, so that's going in there. Okay, so how are we going to find this antiderivative? Well, we'll bring the 4 out front first. I'll write my x in front of... I can't bring it outside the integral because we have an x antiderivative, so I can only bring constant uh, product outside. All right, so how do we find this antiderivative? Well, it's a product... And the anti-product rule is called uh, integration by parts. So we have integral u times dv equals uh, u times v minus integral v du. So this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to throw out the uh, endpoints until we're at the very last step where we're ready to plug them in. So I have to choose. I'm going to choose, uh, when you make this choice, you want you to have a good derivative or dv to have a good anti. derivative. Now the exponential, derivative of an exponential is an exponential, and antiderivative is also an exponential. So that doesn't have a good or bad derivative or antiderivative. It's neutral. However, x has a very good derivative, which is 1. Therefore, we're going to let uh, x equal u, and dv is going to equal the rest, e negative sx, so we saw before antiderivative e to the negative s. Oh, you also need the dx there. Uh, but e to the negative sx, antiderivative is 1 over negative s, e to the negative sx. You can check by taking derivative, and you're going to get right there. And dv is just du, or 1 times du. So we have integral u dv equals 4 integral uh, 4 times uv minus integral v du. And we're going to make all these uh, substitutions, u and v, so it's negative 1 over s, x, e negative sx. I switched the order a little bit, but that's u, and then everything else is v. So that's uv minus integral v negative 1 over s e to the negative sx du is just dx. 4 times negative 1 over s x e negative sx. Two negatives, two wrongs make a right, so those cancel out. And we have, uh, I can bring the 1 over s outside, e to the negative, it looks like I left out an sx here. All right, so what's this antiderivative? Well, luckily I did this before, so you could just scroll up and see that somewhere. Here it is. Uh, it won't have a 4 in it, so it'll be a fourth of this, so it's just going to be 1 over s. Oh, that's skipping way too many steps. Where should we jump to? Eh, we'll just do it slowly. All right, so the antiderivative here, uh, we still have an antiderivative to deal with. I'm going to take a guess, e to the negative sx. Derivative is, let's see, derivative will be 
negative s times this, but we need a one over s, uh, and we need to cancel out the extra multiply by negative s, so that's an another multiply by negative one over s. All right, you can check this, take a derivative, e to the negative sx derivative is uh, e to the negative sx times negative s, which would cancel that, giving you what's above. All right, good stuff. We'll just simplify this down a little bit here. So we have negative 1 over sxe to the negative sx plus, and I'm going to write this e to the negative sx as 1 over e to the positive sx. Oh, it's going to be minus here minus one over s squared, one over e to the negative sx. Now I'm gonna put in zero to infinity. Remember these are x right here, these are x values, not s values. So I'm gonna factor out a, and these are both negative, so I'm gonna factor out a negative one over s so we're left with x e x over e to the sx plus 1 over s 1 over e to the sx now we're going to go 0 to b and take a limit as b approaches infinity all right when we take this limit uh, you're going to get uh, conversions when s is greater than zero, and if we scroll up, that was something I kind of didn't pay attention to at the beginning. Uh, the domain of this Laplace transform is a set of all real numbers, s, such that the improper integral converges. So the reason I need s to be greater than zero is so that these go to zero when we plug in infinity. You're gonna have one more problem. You're gonna get, when you plug infinity, you're gonna get here, infinity over e to the s times infinity. And how do you deal with this? That's infinity over infinity. You're gonna use L'Hopital's rule to deal with that. Uh, and so you're gonna need to deal with that separately uh, by using L'Hopital's rule. And the rest is just plugging in and carefully taking your limit. Uh, this is going to work just like the previous problem, so that shouldn't be too bad.